DIY Science Lab. I'm Michelle, and today we're making some happening lava lamps. I'm Sarah, and do we really have to wear this? Yeah, it's necessary. We're making lava lamps. <sighs> For this project, you're going to need a recycled water bottle, water, food coloring, Alka-Seltzer, and vegetable oil. Insoluble liquids are the far-out key to making lava lamps work. Know what I mean? Strangely, I do. Insoluble liquids are liquids that, when combined, won't become a new liquid. This is where the expression, oil and water don't mix, comes from. In lava lamps that you can buy, the liquid chamber has two liquids that are very close in density and that are insoluble. In our DIY lava lamps, we'll mix oil and water, which are insoluble, but are quite different in density. That means a certain volume of water will weigh much more than the same volume of oil, which is ideal for this DIY lava lamp project, even if oil and water would not work for the store-bought lava lamp. In that lamp, the two liquids are very close in density, but one is heavier, so it sits at the bottom. When the lamp is turned on, the bulb under the liquid compartment warms the heavy liquid, expanding it and making it less dense. Because the two because the two liquids have very similar densities, the heated bottom liquid begins to flow up through the other liquid to the top of the lamp. As it gets to the top, it cools, becomes more dense, and sinks back to the bottom. To begin making your lava lamp, fill the bottle one quarter of the way with water. Mix in food coloring to your desired color. Fill the bottle with vegetable oil, leaving some extra space on top. The extra space is important because it allows the air to escape. If there isn't enough space, the lava can spill over and totally harsh your mellow. Then break a single Alka-Seltzer tablet into pieces and add them one at a time to your bottle, allowing a couple of seconds between each piece. The Alka-Seltzer and water react to create bubbles of carbon dioxide gas, which is less dense than the water and will move upward. Small pieces added at an interval slow the reaction down, which keeps the bubbles from freaking out. If you use more than one tablet in one go, the water will cloud, and that's a real bummer, so don't do that. You can add another Alka-Seltzer tablet after the reaction has stopped and the contents have settled. Far out, man. 